Hey guys, how's it going? Edit here again. In today's video, we are going to be checking out this NES game that I picked up whilst I was away in Mallorca. Now, it claims that it has 11 games in one, and it says 1993 on the back, which is possibly one of the oldest multi-carts that I've ever seen. If you've been on the channel for a while, you know I very much like multi-carts. I have quite a lot of them, and I've never seen one from 1993, so stick around. We're also going to be opening this up. I don't actually have a NES to test this, so I gave my friend a ring who's a bit of a NES fan, and he's going to be here any minute now. Oh, how convenient! <laughs> so I'm here with Dan. Hello. You may have seen Dan a couple of times. We've done a few car boot videos together. He's got a NES and we're going to try out this absolute legendary game and see if it's good, if it's bad. Is there something that Nintendo's not telling us? Because NES games are bloody expensive. Well, they were bloody expensive. And this thing was probably extremely cheap. So let's get a NES plugged in, plug this thing in and see what it's like. <music> For the moment of truth. Ooh. Do we have to take the old one out first? <laughs> Wait, that can't actually be scripted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I couldn't see it in there. Was... Right, let's play this bad boy. I'm gonna say it needs a blow. <laughs> okay, man, don't take that out of context. Okay. So we managed to open it up, it was bloody difficult. We haven't been able to get this to work just yet. Tell me why this is funny, because I don't know what the inside of an S-Cart looks like. So, it looks like they've got a board piggybacking the original uh, connector to try and bypass the um, like the region lockout. So is this it? a Famicom part? Possibly. <gasps> no. Let's try it. This has actually turned into such a mission. What's it holding up? What's it held in by? <laughs> Big sticky square. No! No, it's not! <laughs> what the hell? No way! If that's actually a Famicom port. Your, uh... It's up there, it's up there. So recently I was sent this from Gearbest. Now if we can get this to work, I'm gonna be beyond shocked. Okay, so update guys, we now have this proper sketchy little setup. Let's press the on button. <gasps> no way! Oh, that is ridiculous. There is no way that that has just worked. We've literally just taken this apart. Where's that little thing gone? This was literally just like a region unlock chip. There's nothing on here. There's some sort of like dodgy like resistors going on here and some, a couple of capacitors. And there's actually an LED on there as well, I think. And we've just plugged it into this super cheap thing that was sent to me by Gearbest, not sponsored. And look. Right, let's get this hooked up onto the Elgato. Just like that, using the power of technology, we are in and recording the screen. The menu system is really, really weird, but it was quite cool. There was a little um, bubble bubble dinosaur at the bottom there. So the first game is soccer. Um, soccer was not too bad. We're not very good at sports games. No. <laughs> we worked that out quite soon, quite quickly into uh, into playing these. The next one was volleyball, which was just, I mean, you can see for yourself. It's pretty incredible. I think we were just really bad. We're not doing this game justice, if there is any justice to, to give it. The next one as well was baseball. Um, again, I'm just as bad as at, at this video game as I am at baseball in real life. Um, you can see me just swinging aimlessly there. This was Luna Ball. Now, now, Paul, you're not too bad at. You can do that. I can do Paul. Luna, oh. Luna ball, however, was slightly different. Golf, we, I swung the ball once and then just turned it off. Tennis. Tennis was all right once we actually got it kind of going a bit, but we really couldn't get it going because, <laughs> again, it was so difficult to hit the ball. It, I don't know if it was because we were playing on the um, the, the kind of Famiclone, Famiclone, so the, um, the controllers weren't great. Ping pong, equally, equally awful. I couldn't even get the ball going at all. I couldn't work out the buttons. Bowling was quite fun. I enjoyed bowling quite a lot. Did you like bowling, Dan? Uh, I, I, I'd... 
I went into the gutter straight away. So I, I um, yeah. Pinball was weird. I could only get one of the little paddles to move, and then the ball disappeared. So I don't, I don't think I worked out quality craftsmanship. I don't think I worked. <laughs> this one was utter confusion. <laughs> I thought pressing pause, like pressing the start button, was the only way I was moving. But actually, I just needed to stop. Like, I what? think I think you're trying to do the frame buffering to uh to to get through to the uh the, the speed run of the game. I'm speed running <laughs> the game. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing here. And then uh, yeah, that was bad. Basketball was quite fun. I, I, you scored a, a, a goal. <laughs> <laughs> One net. You scored a net. Is that what it's called? It's no. just a net. No. What is it? I don't know. It's <laughs> not a net. Though. We're going to get slated. <laughs> um, I think basketball was the last one. All right. So, I mean, what are your thoughts, Dan? Uh, I mean, it, it, it's fairly standard of um, these kind of, I guess, cheap knockoff carts to have a back. huge, sticky, double sided block. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's probably cost about the same amount as a car. I reckon. I reckon. Um, but yeah, this piggybacking is, is fairly normal. Um, just to kind of bypass lockout chips on, on European or, or US consoles. Um, but yeah, it's that's definitely going to be useful going forward. It's quite funny, really. I mean, we, we, we just couldn't get this to work with Dan's NES, as you would have seen. And then we, we opened it up, which again was, was quite tough as well. Um, I thought I had broken the, the parts, but it's actually all right. And this is just a Famicom um, cart, essentially. And I reckon there is probably these were probably mass produced for the Famicom, mm -hmm. and then they just decided to whack it in a um, strange whoever that guy is cart for a NES, and then call it a NES game. But um, yeah, I mean, really, really quite interesting to see the technology that goes on his side. I know you guys like me opening the things up. Um, and having a look inside them as well as actually kind of looking at the software. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully it didn't go on for too long. Huge thank you for Dan um, lending me his NES and all his Elgato and, his, and it, just his presence really actually. Oh. I really appreciate it, just the presence. I hope you guys did as well. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like and you don't have to do anything else. Uh, I don't really care if you subscribe or not. Bye!